I'm back. Enough of the uh, scenery videos. Um, <laughs> or maybe there'll be a few more, but for now I feel like making this one myself, of myself. So uh, I want to talk about uh, the possible undercard on the Bernard Hopkins Chad Dawson fight of uh, um, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, Lucas Matisse and um, and Kendall Holt. I think this is going to be a pretty interesting fight. Um, I've done a little homework on, on, on both fighters. And, um, you know, I watched the uh, Chop Chop, the, the Corley fight, Matisse. And in that fight, uh, Matisse definitely showed that he can fight from the outside and he could take it to the inside and uh, be successful in, in both spots. I think he fought most of it on the inside, actually. Um, I don't know if that's his preference or if whether he just decided to do so. Um, but um, as a result of what uh, Corley was doing. But uh, um, I think, uh, I okay, uh, Lucas Matisse, obviously coming out off of two losses that he probably won. Um, against Zab and against uh, many many people argued that he won against Zab and, and Devin Alexander um, he's definitely going to be looking for a knockout um, if he does in fact take this fight against Kendall Holt and he'll be looking for a knockout against a guy that that's his whole game is looking for a knockout uh, Kendall Holt has extremely heavy hands no doubt about it super heavy hands um, so heavy in that he really doesn't utilize any other talents if he has any if, if he even has any um, he just sort of you know basically sort of lures you in like kind of like Zab and uh, waits for you to slip up while you're throwing punches um, and uh, and then tries to slip one on you and drop you down and whereas Zab, I think, has, as of lately, has been, you know, moving a little bit and, and ducking punches and has added some defense to his game, um, Kendall Holt just kind of puts those hands up in front of his face, Arthur Abraham style, and just kind of lets you hit him and watches you between his hands and, and looks for the opening. And the um, only trouble is, is he kind of, because he's trying to watch you, he, he doesn't really clam up super tight. And he eats uppercuts uh, in the meantime. Um, and so he takes abuse and punishment. And he basically decides on his own, you know, well, maybe I've taken too much abuse or punishment in this one spot. So I'm going to move out and then try to, uh, you know, lure him in in a different place, different position, and then and, and see if I can find that punch. And basically, it's a game of can you... Can Kendall Holt's opponent basically treat him like a punching bag without letting him, without letting Holt find a big punch to to knock drop knock you out basically? And um, you know I haven't seen uh, Matisse's ability to uh, take a punch of that nature. Um, you know I, I I'm sure he seems like a pretty tough guy. I I'm sure he can probably tolerate some but um you know not too many of those Holt uh you know big punches Holt's big punches so um what do I think is going to happen in this fight I you know it's I think actually it's going to be really close and you know if Matisse wins then he's finally got a win and to a certain extent you know he's a little vindicated and um, and it's against a known opponent, a known dangerous opponent. And then he could maybe move on to get some rematches or something like that. It's sort of a sort of a fresh start for him. But for Kendall Holt, this is a dangerous fight because he's fighting a guy that has come off of two losses but really won those fights. But the bottom line is he they're down his losses. And this guy's no you know, he's no slouch. Um, 
he's dangerous and uh, and uh, you know he'll attack and uh, I don't know I mean Kendall Holt loses this one I, I really don't know where he's gonna go um, and if he wins it well okay He's just the third guy now to beat. Uh, I mean, he he maybe if he if he legitimately knocks Matisse out, he can be the first guy of the of the last three that really beat him. I guess, which would say more, which would kind of I guess no, I guess it could do him some good. It, it would put him um, obviously higher than Zeb, but almost more importantly higher than Devin Alexander because I still think that people think that. Devin Alexander may have the potential to become something great. I don't agree, but I still think it's kind of out there because he's young and he's fast and he's a pretty boy and he, and you know, he, he, he can box, he can box. And so he still has some time to learn, you know, and, and, and that could be a great fight. Uh, Kendall Holt versus uh, Juan Diaz. I mean, excuse me, Kendall Holt versus, uh, versus Devin Alexander. Um, you know, Oh, and that just reminded me of something. You know, basically, um, uh, Juan Diaz was hitting uh, uh, Julio Diaz at will and couldn't drop him. Um, I mean, just laid on punches after punches after punches on him. And, uh, you know, Kendall Holt dropped him with ease. So it just goes to, sh you know, shows you how strong he is. Um, but anyhow, it'll be a good fight. If it, if it goes down and uh, I'd like to see Holt win but I, I give Matisse a very good chance I, I think this is almost like a pick em fight an even fight um, that's it oh I just wanted to add to that um, one thing that concerned me about Kendall Holt and uh, 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 Juan Julio fight was that before Holt connected with that beautiful left to the body and then to the head, um, he missed quite a few shots, um, quite a few, uh, like, uh, you know, rights. Um, and uh, on, on, uh, on Juan Julio, and I was watching the Juan Diaz Juan Julio fight right before that fight, and Juan Diaz was just tagging Juan Julio at will. So I'm a little concerned about uh, Kendall Holt's uh, speed and, you know, connectability. Um, might be slowing down a little bit. I don't know. But uh, uh, that was a little concerning. And what I did like about Matisse was that on the inside, um, you know, he would uh, he'd uh, faint a punch and come right over it with a nice right uh, you know he'd faint a left hand from Corley and come right over it with a right I mean sort of Mayweather style like the way Mayweather delivers the right and then ducks underneath the the counter punch from his opponent all in one motion um, it was it was not the same but like the reverse of it and uh, it was pretty impressive so like I said um, I give Kendall Holt better than a puncher's chance but um, he's going to have his hands full against Matisse, definitely.